video coverage of IT Expo is brought to you by Content Boost, the content marketing specialists. Amplify your sales today. Hi, Eric Lenask here at IT Expo in Miami. Uh, on today's program with me is Ellis Lindsay from Alcatel Lucent. Ellis, thanks for joining me. Thanks very much. So, you know, you, you were explaining to me uh, off camera uh, some of the uh, sort of uh, traditional uh, roles that, that, that uh, your part of the organization has, has played in, um, helping manage and, and monitor and, and service um, endpoints or uh, gateways or, or uh, set-top yeah, boxes yeah. for the service provider community. Um, the Internet of Things is really changing that. How? So the, the way we're seeing it is that it's a natural extension of those existing broadband networks where there's more and more devices being connected to the networks and the service providers who are providing that network connectivity, they have a strong role to play to, to make sure that that service and connectivity continues to serve the needs of the application vendors in that whole marketplace and community. And so what our platform enables is the management and diagnostics of those devices and services so that you can actually figure out if there's a problem, what is, what is it, and actually take that proactive resolution so that you don't have to send a truck or if you're in a connected car scenario. As a consumer, you don't have to set up an appointment with your dealership, go there and wait for them to replace the head unit in a vehicle because that's the only way they know how to diagnose it and figure out what's wrong, as opposed to being able to do that over the air and just make a change in the software uh, while the car is not in motion so that everybody ends up with a better experience. So does that mean theoretically anything connected uh, through the Internet of Things uh, can be can leverage your platform? Uh, absolutely. Anything network connected, as long as we can communicate mm -hmm. to it, whether it's a standard-based interface or a proprietary interface, if we can talk to it, then we can bring that device information into that business logic to figure out where is there a problem and what has to change in order to improve the service. What what are the kind of kinds of things that service providers are asking you to uh, uh, monitor and report on? Right. So we're we're looking at uh, analytics effectively. As as there's more and more devices, there's a lot more variability in the network. So the service itself, how these how these devices and applications behave, requires that we we incorporate network data and network service quality into the equation for how we're di doing the diagnostics. Right? So really big data has a strong, strong role to play for device analytics, service analytics, and overall what is the, 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 the analytical output of that experience. So what business processes are working, which ones are not, how do you optimize those over time to be more predictive in what you're doing? By being more predictive in what you're doing, you're effectively suggesting fixing something or, or uh, not maybe not before it well, happens but at least understanding yeah. recognizing that there's a trend in either a device or a, a type of software or a service and making those changes or providing some sort of uh, notification to the the application provider and says okay well this particular piece of hardware it's been in a field for x number of years and historically we're seeing them fail at this certain point so you might want to send somebody out and update that hardware before there's a problem Right, and there's a service outage, which means lost revenue. Is there a revenue, uh, a positive revenue opportunity for uh, service providers by being able to uh, provide this level of uh, analysis? Oh, we, we believe that there, there most definitely is. Our, our typical business model is taking cost out of the business. So if you don't have to roll a truck, if you don't have to go through any of that extra time-consuming diagnostic and try things over and over as a guess, the, the more you can automate it, the more you can be predictive, the, the more revenue you can put into the margin side of the equation as opposed to just OPEX. Is it, it the, the management and the, and the uh, monitoring and, and the maintenance, is that something service providers can charge extra for or does that come as an ad, a value added service typically? Well, that, that's going to depend on how they want to approach the mm -hmm. machine market, but it's, it's something that looking around at the show now, there's, there's not very much discussion or not very much consideration of, of that low level horizontal layer. In, in the overall M to M equation, because people are looking at devices and applications, not necessarily how they're connecting. Is that connection secure? How do you secure that? What do you do if there's uh, uh, some sort of uh, 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 intrusion in that that session flow? How do you how do you resolve that? Right? If you've got malware on the device, how are you going to do that? Well, if you can detect that there's a weird traffic pattern that's being generated by malware, then you can 
do a, a firmware update to, to get rid of that malware and not have to worry about it. How big, how, how would you estimate the potential uh, of the M to M or the Internet of Things market for, uh, for Alcatel Lucent in this capacity? Well, I, I think it's, it, it's pretty big, right? The, the numbers are going to depend on how the, how the market shapes out over the next couple of years. Right? Looking back five or six years, it wasn't that different than it is today, but it's, it's becoming much more interesting as, as the applications are extending, more and more uh, applications are tying themselves to devices and mm -hmm. Soon they're going to recognize that that network connection, whether it's between a service provider and their, and their application in the cloud and that device, or their device and the, the sub-devices associated with it, those service qualities are going to require something to, to be done about it. And that's, that's really something that is going to have a high value because it, it can be translated into revenue. Who drives these kind of programs at the service provider? Is it uh, a customer or does it come from uh, management at, at the uh, provider level? It's a bit of both, right? So right now we're seeing many of the tier one service providers focusing on machine to machine as a, a potential growth area. Uh, in many cases, they have some clear plans. Other cases, other other aspects of that same business, they're they're unsure. They're developing strategies, but most of them are, are actively developing those strategies today. And we see that there's there's investment being made there because they see that they have a, a very strong role to play in machine to machine, being the operators of those mobile networks. Excellent. Uh, Ellis, it's been great chatting with you. Thanks for being on the program today. You too. Thanks very much. Video coverage of IT Expo is brought to you by Content Boost, the content marketing specialists. Amplify your sales today.